below. Y'all motherfuckers hear me? OBS just got a big update. So we had to adjust some settings again, but I believe you should be able to hear me just fine, yeah? If you're out there, say hello. Sorry about for coming on so late. I had a long ass day yesterday. And I didn't really get much sleep for some reason. And then, I don't know. I was just kind of feeling a little bit like shit earlier. Good now. I got some nap time in. Oh. I was also dusting a little bit under my desk. Now I keep seeing you make my nose go a little bit stuffed up. So give me one second. about it is that that has the actual metal wheels and not the shitty little plastic wheels. Alright, controller. We're all fully charged. Good, good. I've been playing a little bit of that uh, off camera. Uh, that uh, I've played it before, but the, the Jurassic Park World Evolution. But I never played any of the DLC, so it's pretty fun. For an RTS park builder, it's fun. But it's, it is super easy. Once you learn how to make money real fast, you can just, you don't even have to give much of a shit. You just let it build up, and then you have like a whole bunch of millions, and then you can just delete everything in your park and rebuild the way you want. It turns every park into a sandbox, basically. Or every, excuse me, every island. Alright, let me, uh,. Turn this off. Can you see me? Hello. Turn off the music. There we go. Hopefully you can hear the game all right. All right. I would have played this with mods, like some costume mods and stuff. But, um, it just, uh, I don't know, it didn't want to work. I had a cool one, too. I had, like, uh, uh, oh, whatchamacallit, um, I had her, like, in some, some super, like, cop uniform and shit, and I had Carlos in a tuxedo like he was a spy. But Alright, so I don't even remember what I was doing last in this game. So we got... Okay, that's all just crap for me to do stuff with. And then... Alright, and I got my bazooka, which is apparently whatever. Where the hell am I? Find a way above ground. So I came out of that way. I guess this is where we're heading. Anything in here? Look at that old CB radio.
I saw that uh, bundle, uh, I bought that bundle on good old games with all the original Resident Evils. Uh, so the original Resident Evil 2, original Resident Evil 1, and original uh, Resident Evil 3, you know, with the tank controls and the cinematic angles. And so, I don't know if, I will pl if I'll play those on stream, but, oh man, I'm looking forward to a little bit of nostalgia there. Heard that? I hear some shit creaking and leaning up there. Well, either that's a zombie, or it's just sound effects, or it's Mr. Nemesis. Oh, that's zombies. Nut shot. Oh. I mean, we got infinite bullets. So it really doesn't matter if I pop a few extra ones into these guys. You know, not for nothing, like, don't get me wrong. Fucker's still alive. I can't stay here. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, not for nothing, but, um... Whenever they, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, the sound design is cool in this game. They did a good job. But... When you're like, I don't know if you've ever been in a sewer, or in any kind of tunnel. First of all, even if it's quiet, it's still loud. Like, every wind gust, every fucking, like, if there's water flowing in there, and stuff like that, it's loud in there, you know? So, how, I, you know, for, for horror purposes, they keep the tunnel, you know, it has echoes and whatever, you know? But, man, like... That's never what it actually sounds like in there. Like, it's never that spooky when you're alone. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, I, I mean, I guess if everybody was dead and there was no sound, I don't know. But, speaking of that, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, and if, you know, it all depends on your taste. But, uh, A Quiet Place, day one, right? First of all, it's, yeah, it's similar to the other Quiet Place movies. Uh... But what's really cool, what they did, is they took one of the noisiest uh, cities in the entire world, right? New York City. It's, it's noisy, right? Day in, day out, beep, 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 car alarms, people yelling, talking, walking, everything, right? It is not a quiet city to live in, right? I mean, there's like a joke in uh, the My Cousin Vinny where he has to go to prison and with everybody yelling and stuff to finally get some sleep because he's used to all the noise, right? But, so the film starts off modern day, you know, New York and, and busy and all that stuff. And then after the invasion happens, how eerily quiet that entire city is whenever they go outside and stuff is so unnerving and well done. It is, I mean, yeah, it's just a studio set, but it's, it's cool. Like when you see it, you know, you, ne you, you'll, you'll understand if you watch it, you know.
Yeah, we gotta go to the clock tower. Although I think they changed things significant in here. So, a lot of people don't understand or don't, you know, weren't born yet or whatever <laughs> when Resident Evil 3 came out. I mean, I was, I was already old enough to look at magazines and understand them. So, like, uh, Resident Evil 3 was uh, heavily featured in, at the time, I was big into EGM, uh, Electronic Gaming Monthly. I had official PlayStation Magazine and Nintendo Power and... Uh, that no, there was one other one. Uh, that were, Those were my top ones. And then later on, uh, in my teens... I started more with uh, Game Informer. Game Informer became my go-to number one. Uh, I still, to this day, uh, get Game Informer uh, physical magazines. Uh, they, uh, if you go on their website, they have a good deal for like two years for twenty-four bucks. So, and the mag—I mean, the magazines are printed on recycled paper now, and they're not as thick as they used to be. You know, like you know, went from like say 50, 50 pages or something down to like. 2530 so it's no thicker than a comic book but it's uh you know if you want articles about with about uh, upcoming games or you want to read behind the scenes stuff uh with uh, uh developers and shit without having to click through a shitload of uh ads and 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 whatever else might install on your computer and or phone or whatever like it's still a really cool way to to read and uh, uh, you're supporting their journalism and stuff like these guys work hard you know and uh, yeah, I keep them I even I still keep them around I have like a, for the guest bathroom uh, a stack of them you know what I mean so and when I'm done you donate them to a to a whatchamacallit uh, like a half price books or so and you're good to go you know it's crazy like this is super detailed like an actual asset and then you look back there it's just they didn't even try anymore that it looks all detailed but look at that street L look at this I mean <laughs> they just quit they could have, like, put a whole bunch of fire or something there so you can't see further down the street or whatever. But they just quit. No more detail. I mean, this game was rushed. Let, let's, let's be honest. Uh, Resident Evil 2 came out, and it was the remake, and it was a massive success hit. Uh-oh. But, and then they're like, quick! Reuse some of the assets and put out, put out Resident Evil 3. Yes, you can. How has my knife not Carlos? like melted Respond. my pants off? Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? It, it, you know, not for nothing. What the fuck? It's a zombie thing creature, right? It's back! Like, why wouldn't it be able to swim? It could survive fire and explosions. Why did she think water would stop it? But I, I, I do like it, but that's basically the liquor's face. I'm so glad I don't have to reload. <laughs> this is, makes this fight a little ridiculous. I remember doing this, like, I did this more legit, let's say on the PlayStation when I first got this game. 
What's up, man? What's up? But yeah, I did the whole running Thomas, around. You still there? Getting grenade bullets. Come on, you're gonna crap out on me now? God damn it. And shooting them off the walls. Actually, he's gonna get back up, isn't he? Alright, let's uh. Let's grab all the things here. Even though I don't need them. Double checking. <laughs> Get in the van. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Shotgun shells, sure. Alright, let's combine some of this. Okay. Can these not. Oh, well, I guess that's why. But yeah, I mean, it was just a for the this like as much as I like the game, and and everything, uh, you know, let's let's face reality, this was just an acid swap, uh, you know, and and that's not always a bad thing, you know. If it, you know, like I said, this game is entertaining, um, you know, but some some parts a little lazy when it comes to the details and everything like that, you know. But, but it's funny that it happened twice to to this game in particular, right? Uh, the original Resident Evil Code Veronica was actually supposed to be Resident Evil 3. And this and Resident Evil Nemesis was supposed to be just some side shooter game, right? That like uh, like Resident Evil Survivor, that that on the rails first person shooter one. And um, well. Uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica, they were trying all these new mechanics and it was way bigger than the disc allowed and all that stuff, right? At, at the time, because it was PlayStation 1. Uh, so, they went and I said, oh shit, well, Resident Evil 3 is pretty much done. You know, it's like a DLC chapter that could have added on to Resident Evil 2. And, uh, you know, there was no such thing as DLC yet back then, but you know, essentially that's what this is. I mean, uh, you, if any of you have played The Shadow of Erdtree for Elden Ring recently, or or uh, uh, Blood and Wine for, like, Witcher 3, you know, like, a four-hour or three-hour DLC is, is now common, you know, and that's all Resident Evil 3 really is. But, anyways, it's funny that it happened twice, that they basically just rushed it out. Like, oh, fuck it, it's pretty much done, let's just finish it up and boom, get it out, you know. Oh, he's not dead yet. He's gonna infect me with, you know. Jill gets infected like two or three times this this game, right? Once by the bug thing, and then now by Nemesis here. He's gonna tentacle me. I hit him with rockets. How is the little gun? Also, he's like a huge monster. And I'll never understand this. I mean, this is plot armor type of shit, but... Uh, so yeah, he infects me and he's like, Haha, I got you. You know. But he had me clearly. Why was he even bothering to drag me out of the tunnel? Why didn't he just eat me right there? His whole job is to kill me. He didn't hesitate with the machine gun when it was boss fight time, right? He just started blasting and shit like that. But now, he hesitates when he clearly has the advantage to just crush my head. You know, any of the other guys, as soon as he grabs them, he's like, oh, stars crunch, like five seconds and they're dead. You know, I would love to make like a, what? I would love to make like a Resident Evil uh, <laughs> nemesis movie and like Jill's like, ah, poo -poo, and then he just kills her like ten, five minutes in the movie and the movie's about a completely different character or hey. some shit. Oops. Why does it keep doing that? To me. Okay. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? 
Ezio's been infected. Yeah, the entire I, the entire game is now just hospital. starring Carlo. Maybe or the Dr. entire Morgan movie Saber. is just Carlos. Right, I'll meet you there. Like, as a Resident Evil fan, you hang in there, cop. I got you. I I am kind of annoyed that you know, yes, sometimes the story is ridiculous, but they you know. Like, take the new one, right? The latest, the last one that they put out. that Welcome to Raccoon City. So, one of the loves people have for Resident Evil, the games, is some of the bad writing and the quirky dialogue or whatever. You know, the corniness factor. But then when, like, the directors of that movie misunderstood that as, let's just up the ante and make them as retarded as possible. Fight you know. Jill. And it's like, no, nah, man, you know, that, that's, you're missing you the, the point. Though, when they originally created Resident Evil, uh, the guys writing it, they weren't trying to make it corny. It just kind of happened that way. You know what I mean? They were trying to make it dead serious, you know, and that, that's what makes a lot of those uh, uh, films and, and, and whatnot so great back in the day. You know, uh, movies with like Arnold Schwarzenegger and stuff like that. Why they're so memorable? Not because they had some amaze balls plot or or whatever. They're pretty straightforward. Uh, but it's because they wrote this stuff, and he he does it so serious. You know, and it just it, that's what it comes off hilarious. Oh man, so much crap. I'm gonna dump that off right away. We don't need that. Should I just bust out the machine gun? Blah, 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 blah. There's like tons. I know that at one point there's just gonna be zombies flooding in the building. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty. I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. There used to be a. If I'm not mistaken, uh, uh. There used to be like a timer. You had to get this shit done and get the cure before a certain time. Otherwise, Jill really would uh, uh, turn. Well, what the fuck happened with the camera there? That's some lag. Oh, zombies! I play this game like, like I play uh, uh, Ghost Recon and shit now. Here, tactical around the corner, taking out the terrorists. I don't got time for this. I mean, essentially, that's what they are, right? They're bio terrorists. dead well like at least done <laughs> they're not getting back up oh I didn't see this guy oh nobody's waiting in the raiding room what is this You know, COVID would have been the perfect time to put out a serious and actually good uh, Resident Evil movie. Look at this fucking Trilby cowboy hat. You think Mr. X was here? Waiting in the waiting room? Isn't there a bunch of liquors or something in there?
Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Hart. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. I don't think it has a tape in it yet, right? Yeah. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? How did he survive that? Because <clears throat> he's supposed to pop out during a jump scare later. Glass that's bulletproof yet somehow that zo oops, that zombie will later on uh, bust the frig out. Some leftover bunt cake. Didn't they do that in Resident Evil 2 already? There's a liquor up there, isn't there? some serious lag once in a while. <clears throat> I don't know if it's my PC or... or because of the stream. Green paint. What the hell were they painting green? Well, I guess they're painting this thing green? Or the... those? <clears throat> Doesn't make any sense. Alright, whatever. 
It's the little details you notice. Staff only. <clears throat> so, how you doing, man? Shit, I don't need. You know, Jill in her little mini skirt and sweater has more inventory space than Carlo and all his pockets. I mean, he's got cable level of pockets. gonna get trapped in here by something. I have to have Jill come through here again. Oh, Carlos doesn't get a cool lock pick. Of course. Oh my god, lag. Definitely just loaded something in.
fuck am I? I missed that. Hmm? Yeah, look, we got an actual map now. It's getting real choppy here. Hold on. What is going on? What's the lag? I don't like that at all. Makes it hard to... Fuck. This is, uh... The game freaking out on me here. Oh my god, the lag. Wow, look at how long it's taken. Holy shit. Whatever's going on in this room. And I'm... Okay. You know, if she wasn't dead. It's still a little bit choppy, but at least I can move. like that in bed and then dies oh man this is really bad I don't know what it is with this room did we uh 
get a safe combo in here? Oops. Oh my god. There we go. No, not yet. Alright. Go find a safe combo. Man, screw this room. But seriously, if, if this game is going to keep freaking out like this, this is impossible to play. What is going on? Oh my god. Like, it's not just a bad recording, because look, I'm moving normal. It's the game that's fucking super choppy here. Yeah, I might have to run back to the save room. Anybody remember where that was? Oh, it's not far. Exit the map. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to restart the game real quick. <laughs> Holy shit. Run, Carlos. You can do it. Oh, my God. This game just hates Carlos. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, I don't understand why it started doing this either. Oh, come on, I just want to save. There we go. Okay, let's, uh, I can't even quit. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh, I gotta, I'm gonna exit the whole game. Exit. Holy shit. Maybe it's whatever update they put on OBS causing it to freak out. I don't know. Wow, it's like frozen. It's just not quitting. Hmm. Let's find out what the, what the issue is. Oh, my whole computer is like running slow all of a sudden. Maybe it is OBS. I'm fine, right? I'm moving. Well, even I am moving a little bit. Whatever here. Uh, my no, my oh. What is E? Oh, well, I knew E was failing. I need to 
take that one out. But everything else is... good health. So, I don't understand. Just uh, verifying the files. No, they're good. Nothing corrupted. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. Streamlabs? No, they're fine. I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, I it, the game. I have the game uh, exited. I was verifying the I did a through steam I did the verify the files thing to see if they're all if any of them are corrupted or anything if it needs an update but it is still super laggy so I'm going to mess with the settings real quick here on OBS maybe it's I can't do it while I'm streaming, huh? Okay, let's see if that fixes anything. So I, I changed the encoding level. It might be a little less quality, but it, uh, just a little bit, but uh, it should use significantly less system resources. And now my mouse is like, Wah! so now it seems to be Whatever I did worked, I hope. I'm going to find out here when we launch the game. I don't know, man. This week 
has just not been, uh, you know, whatever. Great. Let's say a lot of, a lot of misses. Wink, wink. That was a bad wink. I double winked because of my, I'm tired. Alright, title seems to be loading fast enough. So, yeah. Alright, we're, seems to be good. Might as well dump off all this crap we don't need. head back to the to the problem room where the problems all started the wing of awful otherwise we'll have to play this game in like 20 minute intervals all right so this door was locked right yeah, the linen room. So we gotta, what, climb down this? Oh, great. Didn't want to do that. But whatever. Oh, and I gotta go all the way around. That's where the lock is. Oh no, it's a green herb. Okay. That's where the dead guy fell, and that's where the stairs are. That's where I came in. Don't start lagging already. Come on, game. It auto saved. one had the lock on it, safe, simple lock, okay. Of course not. Waste of time. <sighs> Poor nurse lady.
Holy shit. All the other zombies gonna get up now. Even though I blew them the hell up with the rocket launcher earlier. Alright, well we got the ID card. Another save, another checkpoint. When did the liquor start showing up? I know there's some in here. Oh no, it's the hunter. Wasn't even threes. Okay, Wasn't even one. Suck it. Christ. How many of them are there? Dump off some of this shit. Right, we don't need that. Key is done. Bullets are done. Flash grenades. I don't need them. In case the game crashes on me. Pick for that. I need the code for that. Let's go hop to the window again. Tactical grip. Can I? Oh no. What's that over there? Why can't I smash these windows open with my with my super rocket launcher of doom? a piece over here. Oh, I guess I can go around through lab reception. Thank you. 
damn. I'll have to come back. Nine. Three. That's it. So nine. Three. Nine to the right, three to the left. Well, that's fine. I gotta come back anyways. To get the rest of them nades. I need some more inventory space, Carlos. Break through the window. Let's go. I can see a box in there. I know I can get in there eventually. I guess I don't need it right this second. Where's the other assault rifle? the rest of that loot so what's been new with you guys you've been digging that new Final Fantasy expansion supposed to go to that safe, right? Well, it was 9-3, right? I feel like it's missing a number.
on nine. Okay. Any more hunters? I think he's dead, bro. You guys heard that? No? Don't even care. Gonna go right in here and just start blasting, right? <laughs> so, anyways, there I was. I started blasting. Hey look, it's the tape. And of course my inventory is full. Uh, I'll come right back. A shortcut. Oh, this is a shortcut. Okay, cool. Fuck this hospital. Accuracy rating is going to be like zero. I guess the key card is done. Alright, so, where's that? Right, we're going to do that right away. I only upgraded for the, for the achievement. I don't actually need to upgrade it, right? And we save when we can. Cause you never know when the game will crash like don't get me wrong uh, uh, you know there's plenty of checkpoints which is cool and so you don't actually really need to save if it wasn't for that worry that the game will just suddenly you know fucking exit out you know it hasn't happened yet but Knock on wood, you know, that I don't really want it to happen either. There's a stupid tape over here. More hunters gonna show up now? Oh, I should have grabbed the tape player. I'm a moron. Anything else in here? No. Room is now. But there is something in the other room. Probably those lockers. Hmm. 
these cabinets. Oh, oh there's a red ring. That wasn't it though. Bullets. Oh, there is a lock in. Ah, oh, and it's a Jill thing. Son of a biscuit. Alright. So. Both of those are are Jill things. Got him. Is there another one? Let's see, what do we got? We need the tape player. We picked up some red herb and a green herb. So we'll combine those and store that. Can we do that a couple of times here? We got plenty of green herbs. Oh, look, nope, here's a red one. Here's a green one. We might as well combine these two. Cool. The other red and green. Nope. Okay. So now what? We gotta go down the floor. Go through lab reception. Where the hell am I? Okay. So I go down the stairs. And I gotta go in emergency. Those guys are bust out. Be all angry. Through there, through there. Then I can get inside here, I think, through a window. Okay. Probably some more hunters, so we'll keep this, uh, keep this rocket launcher handy. One on the rooftop here, maybe? This would have been a perfect place for one of those things to be hiding. Oh, there's definitely one down here. Took care of that.
And look, it's another lockpick scenario. Ugh. Wish I was done with this room. Check that other room first before we take deck it through there. Oh, what is this? get to whatever that is. So when I drop down, I land there. to that. Is there like a broken window there? No. There has to be a way to drop down from above that I'm missing. Sorry, I'm going to backtrack real quick. something. There it is. Okay. So what corner is that? Up here? Can I get to that corner? Doesn't look like I've been there. Let's, let's, let's go see. Probably a dead end, yeah? Yeah, that's a dead end. Even if I go through there, it doesn't lead me to that. So. Can I? Okay, not this way. 
We're probably going to need to be Jill or something and crawl through there. Ah. Okay. Apparently Carlos is too big to squeeze his ass through that hole. You know, or just, I don't know, move some chairs out of the way. He's like the zombies, he's too dumb, he can't do menial tasks. Okay. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever <laughs> meet, you bedpan-changing waste of a nursing degree. Zombie blew his brains out. Bard. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's got to be a computer, right? This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. You know... But those sons of bitches at the board... Umbrella... They want to destroy it. ...should have just done the their research down. on a friggin' so island, Jurassic Park style. I mean, I guess that's kind existed. of what happens in Code Veronica. But the outbreak is at least then contained I know they don't unless want somebody to... flees when they're sick, you know. But then have like, uh, you know, do it on an island with an active volcano so you can just boom, detonate, bomb, God, melt you everybody, and you're good to go. And she trusted me anyway. I guess that's kind of the plot of Resident Evil 5, right? Fuck! Wow, I punched a computer, and the door opened. Is it here? I'm gonna try that in real life. I'm gonna go to a government facility and just punch the computer screen. All right, Joe. Hang tight. Oh, well, you can kind of see through the window. He was shot in the head, though. So he shouldn't get up, but he will. I can't even fire in his direction. 
T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. Anything else in this room? A green herb. Oh. Alright, now we got it all. I might not need the bullets, but the herbs are nice. So there's that suitcase and the three locks. You're gonna be okay, Jim. <coughs> yeah. Let me dilly dally here and put stuff away I don't need before I give you a life saving vaccine. I mean, Carlos is literally doing this only because he wants to get laid. Let's be honest. I mean, his other team members of his went missing. He's like, well, they can handle themselves, you know. But, <laughs> but Jill, he's going above and beyond trying to save her life and shit. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. And that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, let me sit tight. I got this. Grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. I think I got it all. We will take an extra one of these. Just in case I fuck up. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime.
Oh yeah, I'll take that. We did it. Carlos, you all right? Not even close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. Vaccine's a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bowsy motherfucker. <laughs> Good news. It's over now. The city's safe. Attention all citizens, the missile... 
In just hours, like no specific number of hours, you know, but in hours. No, it can't be. The other dude just leave me here. I got my lockpick right there. Okay, cool. Let's go open them doors. Oh, more stuff. Morning, sunshine. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself, crazy bastard. Where is he? From an underground. Barge stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Dun -dun -dun. Right. Guess I'm not talking you out of storage facilities underground beneath this hospital. I've I'm got a rocket launcher Carlos. just like him. Yo, didn't wasn't there a hole in the suit? Oh no, he came out of that shaft. my signal flare. Rescue us. Here's our first door. All right, that's where we have to go. Well, let's go check out all the places we didn't have to go yet. Second. Yeah, 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 Okay, let's uh, put that on vibrate, there we go, so that the alerts aren't going off and being picked up by the mic. Oh, where am I going? That's a dead end, right? I need to squeeze through that little hole. Hunters are probably alive again. What? Oh, this 
something new in this room. Oh, that's right, there's the... like Nikolai's work. Okay. Came in there for gunpowder, I guess. Nothing in the operating room. Oh, it's on the second floor. The hole of holes. Couple of lag jumps there. Weather alert. Bad weather. Sure, I'll take those. Go that way. I think I can squeeze by. Let's get the linen stuff real quick. that lock 
marker with the key on it. I'm looking right at it. Oh. Magnum ammo. That leads into the thing. What am I missing in here? Gunpowder. All right, and then the sick room at the end of the hall. I heard a helicopter. Probably gunpowder too. Yeah, okay. Big circle. Let's squeeze our ass through here. Before we jump down, we gotta make sure that that's a creepy looking toy. Alright, let's jump down and get ourselves an upgrade. It's the Magnum. Guaranteed to give you a headache. Now there's something in the hallway. Where is the...
helicopter again. What could be in this hallway? Besides things that want to kill me. The hat. Oh, a suitcase. Looks like we got everything. So let's head to whatever underground crazy bullshit. Not today. He came out of there. Is uh dude still alive? <laughs> Just chilling, working on his computer, doesn't give a give a shit. Oh, we might as well use the box of forever. Alright. Let's do this. No one in the hospital ever noticed all this. It's all restricted area.
Is that a yeah, baby? Gather the fuses from the sub generators. Okay. What? My lock pick is done. I can't lock pick anymore. Okay. We've lock. We picked every lock that we could, huh? saved or not, but we'll do it one more time. Boom, done. I win. There's something creepy about him watching me. Those guys were coming back, they would... Oh, 
That was bullshit. That was a free hit on me while I was stunned by this bullshit. Before I go through there, I'm not sure. There's nothing. I'm leaving behind, right? Yep. shortcut back to the save room. Stump out some stuff. I know we got a lot more space now, but Okay, so we need to go back through here, and then through this door, I guess I can't look down. We don't like them doggos. We like real dogs, not the Resident Evil dogs. I missed the first shot. Oh, we got two of uh, three.
hunters in there. Now when I leave, the hunters will come up. Alright, here goes. The G babies. He's just chilling in here with some boxes. What a shitty existence. So we go back. Is there anything over here? Oh, nope, there's some hand on bullets. Let's take the elevator now. Is this a dead end now? Because I raised that thing? No. The doggos are gone. We've been in here before. Oops, they all got blown up. I want those two. Three, so we'll put that in. All that time took to hit those fuses. Shit. I mean, it's no wonder he got what away. What was he doing in here? Oh. 
Alright, let's see what we all got here. Let's let's start mixing stuff. Because we got it all. We need the shotgun too, so we can make add that attachment to it. bullets we got. Right, let's start mixing stuff here. Store. Cool. Flame round. Shotgun, yeah. Cool. Look at all that stuff. Just go on a killing spree now. Oh. oh, whatever. We got a shitload of magnum rounds if we want to use it. Just for blame. I don't know my guns. Was on a shotgun? Did it tell you what goes on? Oh, on the Desert Eagle. space, right? Let's take it with us for fun. We're going to have some fun. Get my magnum bullets. Here we go. Good to go. Save again, just in case. Cool. Do I get out of here? Ooh, 
you a button. It's lit up like a Christmas tree. I'm on Nemesis. Joe. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. They'll call off the strike if. And this is one big ass if we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Yeah. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. I hope the Code Veronica remake is going to be amazing. Oh, it's a laser hallway, isn't it? I can't run. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. All right. Let's get this done. Ugh. Blow dry me. Still dirty, but I feel better. Wow, well, Tyrell lived all of fucking five minutes there.
Okay. Cool. Should we go first? This is a good dead end. Welcome to America. This looks like a vaccine machine, yeah. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? <sighs> All right, gotta figure this out. Scene base, okay. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override key removed. These are all hunters, look at those things. Why don't I just destroy them? Bef like, before they hatch. You know, it would be smart.
Those are Nemesis. Nemesi, Nemesis. Okay. To the incubation lab we go. Right, clear out some more inventory space there. This must be what powers it. Tyrants. These are tyrants. They always, after seeing Prometheus, that's what these guys remind me of. Except deformed. What does this one this make again? Shotgun shells? Okay. Tyrants and Hunters. Hmm. 
What? It's a Mega Man statue. Look at that. Classic Mega Man. I know they're doing a, a live action Mega Man sh movie or show or whatever, but it would be so awesome if they did it about the box art and not like like a cute little kid or something or Battle of, uh, Battle Angel Alita style or anything. Instead, they strap somebody like John Sounds Cena into a blue helmet <laughs> with a big big old power blaster arm. That'd be hilarious. An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. Come back again. Hate that shit. Just for one little piece. Whatever, we'll come back. You know, I could totally climb that over there. Having survived the shit I've survived and done in this game. Where's my uh, storage room? Okay, well, let's go dump off our inventory. All the things she said, all the things she said, running through my head, running through my head, all the things she said. Sorry. It just randomly popped into my head. Alright, here we go. Okay, let's get rid of all the things we don't need. We need to keep that. Get rid of that right away. We'll combine it later. I thought 
for a second I saw the one of them little bobblehead thingies. Alright, let's run back. Let's go get the gunpowder first. Since that's far as hell. And we have no other reason to go back this way after we get it. More lizards. Super lizard. I still, every time I play this, uh, I think, how cool would this be? Uh, like a game like this, but in the alien universe. being stalked by by xenomorphs and they move like uh, like the hunters do in here and oh, we got that cool. like I think that would be dope don't make it don't make it like a a marine you know with t you know whatever I mean like yes yeah, so I'm running around with a, sh with a with a whatchamacallit, a rocket launcher. But make it, like, you know, you've got to conserve your ammo and stuff like that. And the aliens are quick, and so you got to hit them in the right spots to stop them, you know. I mean, alien isolation is cool basically couldn't do anything if the alien caught you. Oh, an antigen sample. I suddenly need this vaccine. Uh oh. The music is getting hyped. Music feels a lot like uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid right now. Oh, damn it. I just like all the rooms to be completely checked out, so I'm not missing nothing. Get to the vaccine room now. I see you playing once human. Is it any good? I, I like I hear mixed mixed things.
Oh shit. Okay. Mixing the Kool-Aid, you've now got Ultra Grape. This is probably how they make Mountain Dew. More tentacle rape. Use the hot knife. See, she survived that. You're telling me I couldn't just hop from one balcony to the next? I am Nemesis. That's not Nemesis, that's just some tentacle monster. I am the real Nemesis. Come on. The elevator still works after that. Alright, oh. Basically giving me a bunch of stuff. So is this the final final showdown here? Do we actually need to carry anything? We've got the ultimate power right in my hands right here. Just these two? Alright. Let's combine them. Store them. Alright, so we got two health packs, we got our knife, we got our infinite bullets, and we got our magnum. I think we're good. Yeah, the heat knife is pretty impressive. I mean, look at this thing. You can slice bread and toast it at the same time. Findable thing here already. You know, I've been playing Minecraft with the new copper stuff and all that. I built something that kind of looks like this. I built a my own Resident Evil lab. Oh no, 
Oh, the virus or vaccine. Oh, what do we have? Nikolai, don't! The city needs that vaccine! More than I do. I don't think wisdom I've been trying to impart on you is getting through. Now I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat art. Put on a good show and maybe I don't need a vaccine. Agreed? Good! Is that you? Carlos? <laughs> You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. Do I really need to spot him? I'm just gonna keep handling him. Chill! Here comes a crane. You use it to climb up. Carlos, he's so demanding. Get on my pole. Spin around like a top. I'm gonna melt this fucker into mush. That uh, achievement that just popped kind of gives away I have to that get there's that another nemesis back. fight that he's not dead. Multiple power sources. So we're going on another hunt for things. For stuff at bangs. end up fighting him with some giant laser cannon there. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You think money. I like it. We shall make ours an ongoing. Kind of looks like Toby McGuire. Now drop the gun. Giant poop. Have you have you ever seen anything so incredible? The data on this would be worth millions. But uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Joe! Go after Nikolai! He's got the vaccine! What about you? We're running out of time! I've got this! I know you do. Look, just so you know, 
This is the last fucking time. this fucking thing. That was on an insta kill. That's such bullshit. Uh, I don't want to have to watch all this shit again. I hate insta kill shit like that. Skip that shit. things. We'll do the back one first this time.
All that blood just washed right off. Pick up the thing. Could you imagine? So she fires that rail cannon to kill her through the walls and shit. Leon is part of the facility somewhere right now, right? So it fucking just like obliterates him out of nowhere. Alternate. Alternate ending. So technically, he's a good guy. The missile has launched. And that is my key. Goodbye. Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Leon wouldn't get beat up that bad. Stock for everything, even letting the world burn. Who are you working for? Monsanto. I'll, <laughs> I'll pay you whatever you want. We will privatize all the seeds on the world. I mean, you could take him with you and handcuff him, get the truth, and then drop his ass back into the city. directly into a nuclear explosion, folks. Didn't have time, they had to get Resident Evil 3 out so fast that they just kind of skipped it. So long, Marcy. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All 
Zelda's death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. So profound. Human greed. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them, once and for all. Wow. So did you enjoy that? Had you have you guys had you played uh, Resident Evil Three before? One death, all because of that fucking insta kill shit. So, we did it. We survived. Unlock the shop. We already have all these things. <laughs> the hot dogger. There should have been more costumes. Yeah, so did you play Resident Evil 3 before? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Picture John Cena in this costume in a live action Mega Man. Directed by Sam Raimi. It's time to get mega, man. Look at all that cake right there. Zombie cake. All right, so what should I play next? Should I go on to Resident Evil 4 or should I play the classic version of Code Veronica? I think I have that. Or um, should I play something different just to switch it up? I got a whole bunch of different kinds of games. Hey, let's, uh, let's exit real quick. I could go through part four next, 
do I, I don't even know if I have it installed though. If I don't have it installed, I can't play it tonight. I mean, it'll take forever. Uh, let's see. Um, I don't have it installed. Start a new game. Okay, well, uh, let's see. I'll tell you what I have installed. Um, that looks worth playing. I've got, uh, Songs of, Song of Horror. I've got, um, something called Night Delivery. I've got... Of course, Jurassic World Evolution. I've got The Isle. I've got Gabriel Knight 2. <laughs> I got more of those Dreamfall games, which was a mistake. I got the whole set. Um, Daymare, 1998. What else we got here? Metal Gear Solid, the original Metal Gear Solid. Uh, R RPG Maker. Silent Hill 4. Battlefield Bad Company 2, Ancestors Legacy, Call of Duty World War 2, play Metal Gear Solid. Alright, um, I'll start a new stream so that it's titled Metal Gear Solid, but then, uh, yeah, it'll only take me a couple of seconds. So I'll end this stream, uh, and then I'll start up Metal Gear Solid and start a new stream. All right, that way we can do, do them both. Hopefully it works uh, with the controller. So everybody else who doesn't know me, make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Check me out on, on YouTube for the after replay, uh, Mr. Raging Antibody or Fat Ninja Studios 750. Um... Other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and I will be back in like 15 or less, or less minutes because I'm also going to grab a snack because I skipped dinner. So, all right, uh, I'll be right back. Play us out, Sam.